iPhone 13 Pro Max, the camera glass is broken, a small crack on one of the camera lens. I'm going to show you how to replace the camera glass on this iPhone 13 Pro Max and how to do it safely without any debris on the camera lens. This is the kit that I got for the camera lenses replacement for this device and it has everything necessary for you to do the replacement. So this one does come in pairs. There are two sets of camera lenses, but I only need one in order to replace the one that is broken. So the extra ones can be spares in the event some other camera lenses get broken. On these ones, there is already pre-installed double-sided tape, which makes it a lot easier for the installation. The first thing I did was to add some heat resistant tape on the other two camera lenses that were in perfect condition and I started to heat the camera lens that was broken. So in total I heated the camera lens for 44 seconds before I started using a tool in order to remove it. So here the first thing I did was to create an opening, a small hole between the camera lenses and the camera module. Then after that, made sure that the glass that was broken fell outside of the camera lens area and then I I started removing some of the big camera lenses that were still on the camera bezel. So while doing this, make sure that you're very careful not to touch the camera module that is directly below the broken camera lenses. You need to be careful in the removal process of any debris of camera glass that you remove so that they do not fall on the inside of the device. Also, after you remove any chunk or any piece of glass, make sure that you gently tap the device for all the debris, small dust and everything to fall on the table and not going on the inside near the camera module. So as you just saw it, I was able to remove most of the broken camera glass, but I still have some that are stuck on the camera bezel area the circular camera glasses that are still on the camera bezel. Those are the hardest one to remove since the type of tape that Apple used in order to bind the camera glass and the camera bezel is very strong. So this one, you need to be extremely careful while doing this in order to avoid touching the camera module that is directly below. Also, if you are at this step, you need to have heat resistant tape covering the camera module in order to avoid heating the camera module. If the camera module gets heated and get damaged, you will need to replace the whole camera module. So this is why I had the heat resistant tape covering the camera module before I heated everything. Also at this step, make sure that when you push the broken camera glass, you always push it to the exterior so that it doesn't drop on the inside and stay around your camera module. As you can see, most of the camera glasses have been removed. I just have a small piece of camera glass that is on the camera bezel. Those are the ones that are difficult to remove since you need to go between the camera glass and the frame of the bezel in order to remove them. So for this one, in order to minimize the amount of broken glass that may fall on the inside and also protect the camera lens that is directly below, I'm going to use alcohol in order to help me soften the double-sided tape that is binding the camera glass and the frame of the device together. Here, what I'm doing is very simple. I just drop the blade inside the alcohol, then bring the blade near the broken camera glass and it is going to sip the alcohol that is on the blade. So this is going to minimize the amount of alcohol that I use also and help me remove the broken camera glass. And while doing this, I try to push the broken camera glass on the outside, break it and remove any small camera glass that is still on the camera bezel area. Also at this stage, I didn't choose to use heat because the piece of broken camera glass is very small. The camera module is exposed 100%. So if I had to use heat, it will require a lot of tape to cover the camera modules to make sure that it is protected 100 and then hit that small section of camera bezel that has only the glass. Using alcohol seems to be a little bit more easier and mitigating all the risk that may occur to the camera modules. So after doing all this, this is the last broken camera glass that is on the camera bezel and everything has been removed at this time. Alcohol does work. You may use heat at the beginning, then later you can use alcohol to finish the smaller camera glass that are on the edge of the camera bezel. As always with any camera glass replacement, 
make sure that you test the cameras to make sure everything is working perfectly before you do the installation of the camera lenses. Also, always remember while removing the pieces of broken camera glass to gently tap the device for everything to fall on the table and not stay inside the camera bezel or near the camera module. Again, test everything to make sure that all three camera modules are working perfectly. So here at this stage, I need to do a little bit of cleanup, removing all the excess double-sided tape that are still on the camera bezel area where the new camera lens is going to sit. You need to scratch all those, make sure that they do not fall on the inside of the camera bezel area and you push it outside. So this is what I'm going to do for a few minutes and this is going to make sure that the new camera lens is seated perfectly flat and it doesn't look awkward. So you can see there is a big chunk of double sided tape that I'm trying to remove now. And also while doing this, make sure that you do not touch the camera module. If you touch the camera module or scratch the camera module lens, you basically need a new camera module in order for it to work correctly. Each time I felt that I had scratched enough, I will blow some air on the camera module area for all the debris to go on the outside. And also gently tap on the screen in order for all the debris to fall on the table, if any. So now I felt comfortable about the cleaning that I did for the camera bezel area. And then I just have some double sided tape in order to catch all the excess debris that are still on the camera bezel area. So this double sided tape is going to catch and remove all those small plastic or small double sided tape that are still near the camera bezel. So while doing all this process, I had also in mind to not leave scratches on the camera ring, the shiny camera ring silver that you see. The scratches that you see were here before I started this process. Now that I'm happy with the cleaning, I need to test the camera again test all the zooming point of this iPhone 13 Pro Max to make sure that everything works perfectly. This is the final step before the installation of the new camera lens. While removing the plastic protecting the camera lens, make sure that you do not touch the inside of the camera lens to avoid having any fingerprint on the camera lens. This is critical because if you have fingerprint on it, it is basically done, you will need to use the second one. The camera lens is here. The double sided tape is on the back of the camera lens. The installation is very easy. You simply need to drop the camera lens on the inside of the camera bezel. Make sure that you align everything perfectly. Next, simply drop the camera lens on the inside of the camera bezel. Apply a small pressure for the camera lens to sit perfectly inside before you start applying pressure with a lot of force on the camera bezel. I'm saying this because if you just drop the camera lens inside the camera bezel and start applying a lot of force on it, if it is not seated perfectly flat, it will crack. You might injure yourself and you will ultimately need to redo all the cleaning for the installation of the second camera lens. It is time to remove the plastic covering the camera lens on the outside. After removing that plastic, you need to test all the cameras again to make sure that everything is working perfectly so that you know that you did something good thank you for watching subscribe like and share and i will see you on my next video